just give her the beans. Super beans. As you would say. All right, I'm gonna go rip this thing. All right, All right I'm, I'm excited for you, man. Give me on video. This is your, hey, this is your heritage, dude. Give me on video. Hey, this is your heritage, dude. <laughs> give me this camera. Take her. This is my heritage. This is your heritage, dude. Yep. Hey, Do Lorenzo. Good luck, dude. Ripping the XX. I, I'm super curious to hear what you think about it. Gosh, man, I'm like, this is the most excited I've been. I, I'm like, Nick has really unique takes on freaking yeah. machines. You know? so I'm really curious to see what he thinks of it. Wow, good time, so. You'd think you have the YXZ, the Razor, the X3, all the other machines out there and they all feel different. You'd say to yourself, there's no way they can be any different. <laughs> right. Then you get into this thing and it, it sounds and feels like you're riding on a vacuum cleaner with 20 inches of suspension travel. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> it's different. The, the chassis seems incredibly tight. Yeah. Um, there was only a couple pops, whereas other machines you're driving, creaking, popping all over the place. And uh, the power is super weird. It, mm -hmm. It's like a, it's like snowmobile power. Mm -hmm. It's the only reason. That's the only way I know how to describe it. So, mm -hmm. uh, boy, is it different! Wow. All right, Susier's strapping in for the old XX ride, bud. Yeah, the way that motor revs and the way those clutches engage, it makes it feel like it's revving too high, but it's not. That's just how the motor is. It does. Yeah, I expected the clutching to grab a little harder at lower RPMs, um, but it really does let the engine sing and. That engine honestly doesn't make that much torque at low RPM, so there's a reason it's clutched that way. Yeah. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, it does feel like an older two stroke snowmobile. Yeah. The way the power delivery is. I mean, we've taken all our machines around this area plenty of times, so we don't really need a comparison. A lot of times. <laughs> The more I listen to it, the more I like the way it sounds. Yeah. Especially in and out of the throttle. Yeah. Yeah, with an exhaust, it would scream. If they were a little more lenient from the factory, it would have been sweet. Machine. Isn't that different? That's really different. It just sounds so, um, I don't know the word to describe this. Feels like I'm in a box and there's no sound escaping because it feels so tight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's it is no, really tight. There's no noises other than the motor and the suspension working, which mm -hmm. is super weird. Yeah. But it no. handles really, really great. 
Like I really want to try this in a trail. It's a kind of limited traction. <laughs> Like it really it eats up a lot of the bumps like like there is almost no like small chatter you know like <laughs> it kind of eliminates that which is pretty it's it's very different very different it's really intense it <laughs> sounds so intense freaking loud and it gets hot in here <laughs> like so oh wow you just feel like you're trying to drive <laughs> away from the devil dude <laughs> Dougie's gone a ripper Heck yeah. I'm excited to take it out on the trail a little bit, see how it really handles. Yeah, exactly. So I felt like it was going to be good, but we'll see. Yep. fun dude it is a really fun machine um, the chassis is really confidence inspiring like I felt like you know I was crashing through this pretty fast and at no point did it feel like it was you know gonna run over you know roll over or get get washed out so uh, it's, it's good it's a good chassis man heard a couple clunks you know yeah is, some on the front end yeah it is. probably sway bar right it's brand new so I'm sure there's some teething issues they're gonna have to have to work out but in terms of, uh, you know, like running around tight-ish trails and, you know, these little play areas, like it's a really fun machine to drive. It just, it really, uh, it feels like you can just leave it on the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, turn the wheel. Mm-hmm. So. Dang. No. Good on them, man. Huge, huge, huge upgrade from the Wildcat X. <laughs> So Seuss is back and he's in the XX this time. Oh, the tester in chief. I think he's gonna send it. He talked about jumping it. Yep. Is he just gonna dive right in first thing? He's gonna oh, test okay. through the rollers first. Kind of the same thing Doug was saying about the back end being a bit soft. Yep, yep. Even you with the see. clickers on full hard. Yeah. Uh, 
She's she's valved for comfort. Yep. She's double here. Ooh, that was good. That was, that was pretty good. Yeah. Super smooth. That looked cool, actually. Is he coming for the jump? Looks like it. How was that one? It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> to the freaking ground, man. Knees. <laughs> oh, your knees to the dash? Ah. Looks like the seat can go back a tiny bit. There you go. Nice send, man. You got her out there pretty good. Yeah, nice. Like, it takes a nice, but there's a lot of jarring motion. I mean, these are trash seat boats, man. Yeah, you need real harnesses to make it work. Right, right. Oh, that was interesting. That was cool. So we're not trying to do like a comparison video here, but while we have the XX, you know, and the old 1K, which are kind of competitors in my opinion. Oh yeah. Oh, we yeah. said to Nick, maybe go a bit slower over the jump like you did with the XX and we'll see how they compare. Yep. yep. So. Because he, when he jumps big, it's definitely in a better spot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was still a bit under where he landed with the XX. But. A little faster, a little faster. That was exactly. That was exactly right. It yep. didn't even touch bottom. Nope. Well, he even landed in this little pocket right here. And that's where the XX landed. So he's exactly the same. All right, how do you, how do you feel XX versus Razor jumping the same distance, same jump, same day. Uncomparable. Like, literally uncomparable. <laughs> like, that was such a, like... <laughs> <laughs> Just Not that be that was a bad machine, okay? But, like, I braced for something so bad in this, and it was nothing <laughs> like that. It was really, really rough in there. Yeah, so you hit exactly in the same spot you did with the XX with this. The XS, XX left, you know, a trench. You could run some, you know, cables through there or something. <laughs> and this didn't touch bottom. Like, I feel like uh, with yeah. that, you could feel the weight flying through there. Like, this feels like when you're when you're flying and when you're coming down, it doesn't have as much mass coming down. That's interesting. I, mean? I wonder if it's heavier. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, but, like, <laughs> it's not, they're not comparable. What do you think about the general handling? Because you're ripping both of them. General handling, uh, I, f I like the XX a lot. Like if Better than this? No. <laughs> I, Polaris, are, though. Yeah. Are you I sure, though? Polaris. I, well, I don't know. I just have more seat time in this. If, like, it's, I'm going to be more comfortable in this. I'm sure if I had a whole day with that thing, like I could get that going really, really fast. But. Mm. So it's good, but, you know, it doesn't blow you away. It doesn't blow Wow, this is way better. All right, while we're out here, I feel like we should at least get some video of them, like, taking the same corner. Yeah, like we can cool. go back there in the corner since cool. this has turned into an impromptu comparison. Let's do it. So they're coming to do the double.
Oh, all right, smoke and mirrors are gone, guys. We are done with the Wildcat XX stuff. Thanks to our friend Dennis from Canada for bringing up the old X Limited. And uh, yeah, so now for our final thoughts. We rode the one in St. Helen. We did some drag races at Dougie's. Drag races, you say, huh? We hucked it over the Doug jump. Oh, yeah, we were uh -huh. that. So, uh, yeah, we what do you think, Doug? We kind of, yeah, we kind of didn't do everything you do with the side-by-side. -side. We didn't do rock crawling, but, right. we, you know, like Nick was saying, we rode trails, we drag raced, we jumped it, we just, you know, played around, we ran it through whoops. Um, you know, overall, there are some things that it does well, and then some things that it doesn't do well. So... I guess just to get right to it, um, at this point, it's not a machine that I personally would recommend. It's not something that I'm personally interested in. Um, you know, I think there's people that enjoy it. I think there's a lot of improvements compared to the, the X. And it worked really well, you know, in certain situations like small bumps through the trail, um, things like that. But other areas kind of really um, highlighted some shortcomings of it. The suspension is not great when you start to push it. Yeah. Um, you guys have probably seen the jumps. It does not jump well. The rear suspension does not handle big hits well at all, mm -hmm. even on the stiffest setting. It's not as good as the XB1K, and I would almost say it's not as good as the YXZ in terms of taking big hits. Right. So, you know, it's not... Uh, Speed-wise, you know, it's it's reasonably quick. It's, it's a competitor with the NA machines. Mm -hmm. It's not a competitor for the turbos, and it's not obviously faster than the other any machines currently on the market um and there's still you know there's still some quality issues i think that are going to need to be worked out so in the short you know time we've had some xx's there's been a few pretty major breakdowns you know with not a lot of abuse and, and pretty low miles so that's kind of a weird thing yep i'm not on the not on the bandwagon yet right what do you think Zeus? it was a fun machine so initially i was really blown away by it um in the area we were at, like I feel like that machine is a really great trail ride machine. Like um, just the little bits we had with it, like going through the trail, it's really fun. Just because all the power's at top end, and like you can like the suspension does a good job, but like like Doug was saying, when you really push the suspension, it doesn't work. And now today <laughs> my back still hurts. Three weeks later, <laughs> that was a while ago. Still hurts today. I woke up, my back still hurts. So. Um, yeah, it's not for me per se, but it's a decent machine. Had it come out, say, four or five years ago, the thing would have been mind-blowing. Like, if you compare it to an OG Wildcat, the thing is mind-blowing. Right. Yep. It's, uh, it's just not for me per se. Per se or personal lay? Personal lay? <laughs> not for me. Did you say? Uh, per se, I agree with you. How much today? Right, so from my perspective, man, coming as a uh, old Wildcat guy, three cats, yep. the thing is freaking sweet compared to an old Wildcat. I'll give it that. But after spending, you know, upwards of 500 miles on my X3 and lots of other times and other units like the Turbo S, it just is not worth the current asking price. But even, so like even a Turbo, okay, so like my personal preference, not personal preference, I've spent most of my time driving in a Razor, like an NA Razor. And like, compare not even comparing it to the Turbo X. Like you can't really compare them because that's like a next gen machine. Which this should have been a next gen machine, but it wasn't in my opinion. Not even close. It's just something that compares, like that, is going up against like in it like you know a YXZ or a Razor, and it doesn't do what those do. As it doesn't do as well as what those things do overall. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, it, it probably has good points of focus, like where, you know, like the, the, the beefiness of the front suspension yeah. or the, the trailing arm or whatever. And those are all cool things, but it's kind of overshadowed by the fact that it couldn't handle, you know, a 40 foot jump to flat, which every other machine could handle. Every other machine, like I hit it, and like as I hit, it was like, I, it literally felt like I got in a car, like a car accident. <laughs> like, that's what it felt like. And it's, you know, like, that's no bullshit. Like, that, like, I hit it like I would normally hit my regular Razor or my, you know, Turbo S. I've hit Nicks with it. I've hit, I've hit it Doug's, not on camera, but every other machine, like, there's still, there, it's just missing something. Like, after the jump, I hit it with my uh, NA machine, and I literally braced myself for this freaking impact, and it was like nothing. Like, right. it was like absolutely nothing. 
Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it could be a good machine for people that aren't really going to push it yeah, and try to find too. the yeah. limits. You know, yeah. up until a certain point, it worked really well. Yeah. But then once you cross that line, it kind of just falls on its face. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe that's a bit harsh, but... It is. It sounds harsh what we're saying, but, I mean, we... Just trying to be honest, we're you know. to be honest. And what we... I mean, the way we drive our machines is to kind of the max. Like, we push them... Right. I mean, I do. I push my shit as hard as I could push it. So, like, if finally, you know, we have this for two weeks and it's broken. That's not a good start. Yeah, so that was a whole other issue as well. You know, so the four-wheel drive somewhere along the way stopped working. And then eventually when we took it back, it broke a transaxle. There's been a lot of controversy about that on the Facebooks, yeah, but mean, that's what happened. That so, was, And that was the second demo. I mean, the first demo unit broke an axle. You guys didn't even see that one. So, right. You know, it's uh, it's it's... It's good enough and there's enough refreshment in it that I'm really, you know, I'm still excited to see where that platform goes in terms of turbos, mm -hmm. you know, wider, more travel. I think there's interesting potential there, but with what's hit the market so far, it's underwhelming. Yeah. Yep, yep. So had they, had they introduced a 72-inch turbo model that could really take a hit alongside of this one, you know, like they do with a lot of other models, right? You know, the X3 had the big boy, then they had the skinny one as well. And then, you know, even now they have the 900, which isn't even a turbo. If they did something like that off the bat, it would have been sweet. But mm -hmm. the way it is now, I feel like, uh, yeah, good trail machine, probably really good for old Wildcat riders. But uh, if you want a next-gen machine and you're in that twenty to $25,000 range, there's a lot of options. Yeah, very much so. I don't know what else to say about this machine. I, right. I don't want to sound like I'm ripping on this machine, but that's what it sounds like. It's <laughs> an honest review, man. Yeah, yeah. got to yeah. be honest here. Yeah. You know, when I'm not going to you know, sugarcoat what we're doing. Before, right. before we got to you know, experience one for a while, and you know, through the early part of the process, we were all discussing maybe getting one. We thought it might be a machine that we want to you know, add to the add to the stable, and then you know, by the time we've got done experiencing it, we now are not going to do that. Right. So I think that kind of, you know, says a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we like all you Wildcat guys. I'm OG Wildcat guy myself, but man, it's just not good enough. I'm just going to wait. Just yep. Just going to wait for what's coming. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, at the risk of getting too wordy here, but that just is what it is. Wish we had something better to tell you. Really unique machine. Cool machine. You know, always wondered what like, uh, you know, what that Yamaha motor with the CVT would be like. Yep, we found think, out quick. Yeah, you know, it's unique. Overall, it's you know it performs decent. Mm -hmm. Not a bad machine, just not an excellent machine. Right, and when you push it, of, not good. People, a lot of people happy with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you, you know, hanging in there with us. It took us a while to get the full review out due to the technical difficulties. We know you kind of been hanging around waiting to see that, but appreciate you watching. You know, if you like these kind of honest reviews, please subscribe. We aim to continue doing them in the future, you know, with new models that are coming out. So, yep, and that's that. So, that's that. until the next one, boys.